Shiny rates for Pokemon Go Remote Raids has reportedly been nerfed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. We're back to write yet another chapter of the disaster piece involving Niantic, as well as their mistreatment of Pokemon Go, and the constant increasing disrespect that they continue to show towards their own Pokemon Go players. And ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I have lost count as to how many videos I have made covering this subject, but that right there should be the first out of many indicators as to how truly asinine Niantic is, especially pertaining to Pokemon Go. The rates at which Pokemon Go players are able to encounter shiny Pokemon has reportedly been nerfed, making the chance encounters with the rare Pokemon even harder to come by. Since Pokemon Gold and Silver, shiny Pokemon have become one of the most lucrative and sought-after pieces of content in the franchise. In essence, a shiny Pokemon is simply the same as any regular Pokemon, except that the design is altered in some way, typically changing its color. For example, the first major shiny Pokemon to become easily accessible was part of a scripted encounter in Gold and Silver, where players were given the chance to catch Shiny Gyarados. Rather than sporting the typical blue look, Shiny Gyarados is red. Now in modern day releases, there are many varieties of shiny Pokemon to encounter and catch. However, the odds of doing so are few and far between, and completely random at that. This article also has a post from the Silk Road subreddit. It is titled, Shiny Rate for Remote T5 Raids Has Been Massively Nerfed. Reports from a user-aggregated site have indicated that the shiny rate for the legendary trio is 1 out of 125 if done remotely, FYI in case you're shiny chasing. For Pokemon Go players, the odds of encountering a shiny Pokemon in the wild have reportedly dropped dramatically. This news was posted on a new Reddit thread using the data from a Japanese aggregative community website that tracks players' ability to catch shinies in the wild. The initial post of the Reddit thread wrote how reports from a user aggregated site have indicated that the shiny rate for the legendary trio is 1 out of 125 if done remotely. Players have since filled the Reddit thread with comments of frustration and annoyance, with many confused why devs Niantic would potentially make it harder to find shiny Pokemon. After all, it is already a massive feat for players and requires hours upon hours hours of grinding. There's also a comment that originates from the post that says, so not only are remote passes more expensive, but they also give worse rewards and now a less shiny chance, WTH. This seems more like a push to get more people cheating than getting people out and about. One commenter wrote, Niantic could just release rates instead of having us do all of this investigating. Another added, so not only are remote passes more expensive, but they also give worse rewards and now a less shiny chance? This seems more like a push to get more people cheating than getting people out and about. And you know, I have said this time and time again before, but I'll say it again. This right here is the type of stuff that are going to get people to spoof instead of playing the game the way it was intended. And while I don't advocate for cheating in games, here's the thing is that in this case right here, it's more than understandable why people would choose to go to the dark side, i.e. spoof. That right there is on Niantic's head, 100%. And this right here is just another example of scumminess, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to Niantic. Not only do they further take away from remote raiders by now reducing the shiny odds, but they don't even tell you. They're not even open enough. They don't have the balls enough to tell you this type of thing. You have to find out the hard way. That is fucking bullshit. Have you guys ever heard of the analogy death by a thousand paper cuts? That is essentially what Niantic is doing to Pokemon Go and by extension and more importantly to the Pokemon Go community. And yet there are those out there that will continue to defend Niantic regardless of how much bullshit their decisions truly are. And I really try to give the benefit of the doubt. I really try to be nuanced here. I really try to be charitable and I try to show impartiality to the best of my ability, but god damn it Niantic, 
This right here is inexcusable. Like, you're not gonna get any impartiality from me here. But irregardless, if you're gonna continue to defend this type of bullshit, even though this is objectively bad, then I seriously question your IQ level, and I would go and see a doctor to get that checked out. But yeah, once again, ladies and gentlemen, another chapter has been written and finished in the saga known as Niantic and the continued bullshit disrespect that they keep on showing to Pokemon Go and by extension, the Pokemon Go community. I highly doubt this right here is ever, ever going to stop. I mean, we have been going full sail on this over the last two plus months. I highly doubt that we're going to be stopping anytime soon yet. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it here for the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you next time.